Look at the velocity, 60 wow. to no one's been near that 60 mark. Well, these are truly Canadian images. Canada's bobsled team on Calgary's famous sliding track, built for the 88 Winter Olympics. It's been home to Canada's national teams ever since, and just recently hosted the Skeleton and Bobsleigh World Cup. Now, some athletes from far away are hoping it will help them make history. Athletes from the Philippines want to be the first Southeast Asian team to slide in the Olympics. As Aaron Collins explains, their quest is inspired by a famously unlikely team on the same track more than 30 years ago. In the sport of bobsleigh, the learning curve is steep. The stakes are high, and the margin for error is very, very small. There's two ways to finish the bobsled. The right way is your head on the, at the top, stay, and the wrong way is your head goes down on the ice. Yeah. <laughs> An early lesson for four athletes from the Philippines making a push to get to the 2022 Olympics in Beijing in one piece. I just accept the fact that it's, it's part of the training and just go on the training. It makes us good, so we already finished right. No easy task for a group that's new to the sport of bobsleigh and to winter. Calgary, it's too cold. In <laughs> Philippines, we have warm weather. Now, originally, these athletes were world champion dragon boat racers from the Philippines Coast Guard. But it's going to be the uh, crew from the Philippine Coast Guard. They traded in their boat for a bobsled to become the first team from Southeast Asia to compete in the sport. And if it feels like you might have seen this movie before, well, you have, sort of. Feel the rhythm. Feel the ride. Get on up. It's bobsled time. Our inspiration for getting in the sport of bobsled really is, uh, was the movie Cool Runnings. And we figured that if the Jamaicans can do it, why not us in the Philippines? Training on the same track the Jamaicans competed on during the 88 Winter Games. But that plan has hit an early snag. An $8 million funding shortfall at Windsport means needed repairs to the aging track may not get done and it may close for good. Bad news for the Filipino bobsledders and Team Canada, which also trains on the track. We hope that the Windsport retains this track and this facility because it would be a tremendous loss of the sport should it close. There is still hope that the money can be found and that the facility, which includes a rare indoor sliding track, can be saved. But for now, the team from the Philippines is working on their starts, focused on following in Jamaica's tracks and competing in the next Olympics. Getting to the 2022 Games? Yeah. I think it's a good push, but I think they can do it. They're, they're, uh, they're a dedicated uh, group of guys. They've been out here in this minus 20 whatever weather, so if they can handle that, I think they can handle quite a bit. <laughs> the track is clear. A goal that depends on three more years of training at Windsport. <laughs> Pushing to go faster and finish the right way, one run at a time. Aaron Collins, CBC News, Calgary. Cool.